接近目的地。Yeah, it works. They effortlessly overtake conventional cars on highways. They make crossing and intersection a breeze. Those function using artificial intelligence are just some of the achievements of the new generation of cars on China's roads. As the rest of the world tries to keep pace with advancement in China's auto industry, something else is going on in the background. This is the Shanghai Auto Show, one of the most important and the biggest auto show in the world. It is pretty clear that Chinese automakers are leading the world in electric vehicles, and the next battlefront is autonomous driving. Buzzwords and catchphrases like AI and autonomous mobility were being used by many automakers here. And in terms of numbers, at least, Chinese automakers have pulled ahead of other major car-producing countries. Over 60% of new cars sold on the mainland in 2024. Featured self-driving capability in the United States, the autonomous driving figure was lower than 40 percent. And for many Chinese automakers, some form of smart driving capability is almost a must for their new models. So, how does a Chinese-made auto driving system compare with Tesla's? Ah,、uh, This is a very obedient. A human driver would drive to the middle yeah, of the cross section. Yeah, we'll drive to the middle cross section <laughs> without. Yeah. To see how China stands in the game of autonomous vehicles, our Shanghai bureau chief Daniel Ren and I take a Tesla and a Chinese made Xpeng for a spin to see how they perform. Both cars ran smoothly on the highway without any problems. Both system had no problem handling maneuvers. Like overtaking, merging lanes, and maintaining their distance from other cars, we did not have to switch to manual control of either car for about an hour when their autonomous driving systems were engaged. But as the cars entered busy street-level traffic, our Tesla turned into the wrong lane on at least two occasions. Chinese car maker Xpeng gave us its newest prototype. It seemed to have some home field advantages, and it did not turn into the wrong lane. Oh, yeah, very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, 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 unruly uh, Chinese driver tries to change lines, change to another line, and before changing back to the line, so that to uh, uh, surpass the uh, slow, slow-moving cars. This is supposed to be L two plus plus plus. The driver has to be fully alert and has to put hands on the driving wheels all the time. Even the car is navigating itself. There are six levels to autonomous driving. Level zero has no driver assistance system at all. Level one are functions like lane assistance to help drivers stay in the lane. And radar-based cruise control, but the vehicle can only automate one element at a time. Level two cars can drive on their own in specific situations and automate steering and acceleration at the same time. It includes features such as auto parking and lane changing. Level three vehicles have environmental detection capabilities and can make informed decisions for themselves. Such as overtaking a slow-moving vehicle, but they still require human override. The driver was remain alert and ready to take control if the system is unable to execute the task. Level four vehicles can operate in self-driving mode, but until legislation and infrastructure evolves, the self-driving mode can only be activated within a limited area. Several companies have already achieved this, such as Baidu's Apollo Go. Waymo in the U.S. and these mining trucks in China. Level five vehicles do not require human attention. They don't even have steering wheels and acceleration and braking pedals. They will be free from geofencing, able to go anywhere and do anything that an experienced human driver can do. Fully autonomous cars are undergoing testing in several pockets of the world. 所有车道都不能行。When level three, level three is engaged, whenever an accident happens, it's on the car maker, not the driver. 
I think it depends. There, there's, there's still a lot of you know uh, tug of war between the car makers, insurers, and regulators. Yeah, it depends on whether you are fully confident of your products. If you want to bear the responsibility, that means you are confident. Is it doing FSD now? Point turning. <laughs> to be fair, I think Chinese car makers is superior to Tesla's FSD. Like we said, it's more knowledgeable about the Chinese traffic conditions, and it, it uses more aggressive driving style. It's more like a human driver. Why do you think that the Chinese car makers have this? advantage over Tesla. Uh, they spend a lot of money. They sell more money than uh, Tesla. They sell more cars on the Chinese streets with, with their system because Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y are not necessarily fitted with their FSD in China. So they have more data sets to, uh, to train, train their systems. In China, authorities cracked down on self-driving technology after a Xiaomi car crashed, killed three passengers in March 2025. The car was engaged in its driver assistance system, but only alerted the driver to take control two seconds before it slammed into a barrier at 97 km per hour. Authorities cautioned companies not to overestimate the role of driver assistance systems. It also banned mass tests and over-the-air updates of the systems without government approvals. And for many in the industry, the future of driverless technology lies in AI's ability to self-evolve. Person最初去理解这个世界有点像，就是说家长告诉小孩，你遇到什么情况下怎么处理？那自动驾驶在最初的几年一直到前两年，其实一直都这么一个状态，因为我没有人脑告诉他，那人脑毕竟有疏漏